Chris, what is the story here with your Ram? Yeah, so I had a, a check engine light code come on a few weeks back. Um, it was throwing a P2609. Um, so I looked it up and it was indicating that my intake heater relay system had a fault. Um, so I ended up replacing the relay first. Um, the check engine light didn't come off. Um, so I was checking the power through the system and I noticed that the power cord that goes to the grid heater bolt was loose. Um, so knowing what goes on with that issue, um, I quickly ordered the bank system um, and just went ahead to delete the grid heater altogether and avoid the issue. Um, and you know, I was suspecting there to be an issue with the grid heater bolt. And uh, when I ended up pulling it off, sure enough, there was, uh, the bolt was ba basically hanging on. So here's the grid heater bolt. As you can see, it's starting to turn sideways. Uh, the bracket completely severed, which is what threw the code. Um, and you can see obviously the other end of the bracket here is all melted up. Um, so this thing was about ready to go and drop into my engine. And you can see the, the carbon buildup on this thing is basically uh, none. Um, so it's very clean. Uh, not a whole lot of action has uh, obviously been done with this thing, so. What year's the Ram? It's 2016. Like I said, only 47,000 miles on it. You dodged a missile. I did. <laughs> so this is the bolt that fails 99% of the time. However, we are starting to see this bolt over here go as well. Right. So, and unfortunately for that one, there's no way to test it. No. This guy over here, you get the jiggle test, which That's I assume it. you did, right? I you did. you came over here, and yep. this this post was yeah, it loose. Was, it was it was loose for sure, right? Um, so that's what made me think it's definitely got to be that bolt. So I didn't hesitate, looked for a replacement, found the bank system. Um, you know, the bank has a great name behind it, so just went ahead and ordered that. And like I said, around a thousand dollars to avoid a fifteen thousand dollar plus issue in the future. Uh, it was a no brainer. Finally, there's definitely a throttle response um, gain. Um, it definitely feels like it has, uh, you know, a, a touchier throttle. Um, other than that, I'm, I haven't obviously replaced the, uh, the inner cooler in that system, but I'm looking at doing that next, um, which I'll probably see a lot more gain from that. Um, and then, you know, coming up next would also be the, uh, the intake. So you performed the installation of the Monster Ram in a, in a shop with an ASC certified mechanic, correct? Absolutely not. No, I did this right here out in the, in front of my garage <laughs> with my buddy. Did you really? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, in the right carport? Here. That's it. We just knocked it out in a day. Um, like I said, there's a few little things like a U-joint, uh, a few little tools that you could definitely benefit from because there's some tight areas um, that you have to get into. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty straightforward. I'm not a mechanic of any sort, so. Uh, just able to follow the instructions you guys have online and put this thing together. Can you imagine the people that live in a cold environment where they're constantly using their grid heater and putting it to work? Like this thing looks brand new and it is, and you can see the damage that's already been done. So, I mean, you can only imagine the people that are really putting this thing to work, what kind of risks they're at. Yeah, and again, how many miles are on this uh, 2016? Only 47,000 miles. And again, I live in Southern California where it's mostly You're warm. an hour north of Los Angeles. That's right. Yeah. It's not like we're in the mountains. Nope. We're almost at sea level right here. That's it. Yep. So it could happen to you. Chris, tell me about this sticker right here. Well, Jay, that's actually the sticker that uh, shows that I'm California compliant, carb compliant in California. So I'm not going to have any issues in getting it smogged. Um, that's a huge reason on why I chose this system to begin with. What the? Yeah, don't look at the exhaust. I got to swap that out as well. Oh, we'll get you set up here. Yeah, right. Look at that little pea shooter. <laughs>